G'day, hopefully you're doing very well keeping healthy and safe. I'm doing absolutely fantastic on this side of this. We're going to have a look into this Lenovo ThinkPad P1 Gen 6. That's six generations, which means this series has been going strong for quite a bit of time. Absolute fantastic stability, performance and reliability. That's what the P1s are known for. That's <laughs> a bit of a spoiler and this is no exceptions. Now, for those that don't know the P1s, this is a 16-inch mobile workstation from Lenovo and these are powerhouses beast computers. Now, they're quite they're able to spec quite a bit and we're going to go through that in a moment but we are going to have a look at some of the features. We'll also have a look at the temperature fan noise and the internals and see how this thing behaves. And as always, I will be putting time stamps on the video so you can skip the different section that may be interesting to save you time. Now, we're gonna start off with what this thing can be spec with. Now, with the processor wise, it is using the 13th gen Intel Core. You can even get an i7 or an i9. With the memory, it can have a maximum of 96 gigs. You heard me right, 96 gigs, and that is running on two soul dim slots. You you can upgrade the memory so it's not sold to system board, which is absolutely fantastic and each sold dim slot can have a maximum of 48 gigs for those sold dim slots with the storage it is a bit of a quirky one and it all depends on what configuration your discrete graphics is on this p1 now can if your discrete graphics is the rtx a1000 or the a2000 then you can have two m.2 storage which are 2280 format and this thing can also have the geforce rtx 4060 or the 4080 or the 4090 or even the rtx 3500 or the 4000 or the 5000 now if you get in those configuration they have a one slot of m.2 which again 2280 format the display is a 16 inch display with an aspect ratio of 16 by 10. Now there are three options you can choose from. There's the wide ultra extended graphics array, which is an IPS display with a maximum brightness of 300 nits and it has a refresh rate of 60 hertz. And there's also a wide quad extended graphics array, which is also an IPS display with maximum brightness of 500 nits and has a refresh rate of 165 hertz which is the one i've tested and there's also an oled version and that is also a wide quad ultra extended graphics array and it does have a maximum brightness of 500 nits that also has a refresh rate of 60 hertz with the two ips display that is a matte finish to it and the old led display is a glossy finish Measuring the color gamma coverage of the Y quad extended graphics array display, which has a fast refresh rate of 165 hertz. So this is actually really decent for gamers. And we also have a maximum brightness rating of 500 nits, which is absolutely fantastic for outdoor work. And it has a matte finish to the display and the color gamma coverage measured in at 95.9% sRGB coverage, 71.9% Adobe RGB coverage and 74% DCI P3 coverage. The ThinkPad P1 Gen 6 comes with a 90 watt hour battery and when I tested out the battery life it managed to get 4 hours and 4 minutes for modern office battery life tests in PC Mark 10, 1 hour and 20 minutes for gaming and six hours and 33 minutes for the video playback on the Procom battery life test. I will consider this pretty average and comparable with other mobile workstations at this class as this does have some very powerful components which are usually very power hungry. Now comes the fun part, the build construction. Now the ThinkPad P1 Gen 6 is made of a hybrid of carbon fiber and magnesium alloy now that's for the bottom the top part and also where the palm rest on the side is they all pretty much feel the exact same and i know they're going to be lasting for many years to come it just feels one of those materials that you just know they can trust and just be very durable now as for the good old ben test of this oh, oh this thing is just solid even the twist is not there that's just how much yeah, and I'll just do the rest of the keyboard, see the keyboard flex. Oh, that thing's just built solid. You know, with the ThinkPad series, it's just one of those that just built really hard and to be really tough. And that's what the ThinkPad series is. And this P1 is no different at all. Just carries on, it's absolute fantastic. Now, 
just to give you the, an idea of the hinge so we'll do the one finger test and that's nice and easy to do and you can do all the way to the 180 mark which is absolutely fantastic and we'll just quickly do my see how this grips and here i don't see it actually loosen up uh, on that so that's actually gripping really nicely and again same on this we've got very nice very nice build construction on the hinge here. It is one big hinge, goes all the way along, and it is absolutely fantastic. Now, also while I'm at it, I'm just going to show you one thing. Which I sometimes, oh, see, now I'm just doing a wobble test. Now, sometimes you get very thin screens. Now, this is not one of those things. This is nice and stable here, really nice, and can take quite a bit of beating in here. So, absolutely fantastic on the build construction on the ThinkPad P1 Gen 6. The weight of the ThinkPad P1 Gen 6 is 1.93 kilos plus the 230 watt power adapter becomes a combined weight of 2.87 kilos you might be carrying around with you. This is a recording from the 1080p webcam from the ThinkPad P1 Gen 6. This is the video in auto unedited so you can hear and see what the quality webcam is like. And as always for this webcam test, I've got two types of kind of turn on. I've got the download service room turn on for ambience and I've got the one studio light turn on. So it's hitting on my face strongly. I'm going to turn that studio light off. You'll see this adjust. I think it adjusted very quick there. Now the two downloads in front of me is a bit far away, so there's not much light heating on my face. It's what I consider a dark environment. If you're in an office environment, you should have much more light than what I'm currently at. And I'm gonna turn my one studio light back on. You'll see this adjust. Of course, better quality light should give you better quality picture. And also, I definitely appreciate that Lenovo put a 1080p webcam on a business computer, and I've also got a privacy shutter. So there is a physical shutter above the webcam. If you just flick the switch, you'll see a physical shutter that goes over it. It's also got a red dot just to tell you that there is some covering the lens, which is absolutely fantastic. So you don't need for the blue tech or electrical tape for anymore, as that is now built in. There are two speakers located on either side of the keyboard. And I appreciate Lenovo actually put this as user-facing speakers, as they really do sound a lot better this way. And when I tested out the maximum volume of the speakers, it managed to measure in a peak of 95.7 decibels. And I actually consider these loud speakers. And just to give you a reference point, these are louder than an iPad Pro. Now, as for the sound quality of the speakers, these are nice sounding speakers. We've got good deep bass coming out of these two speakers and it's a quite strong mids and highs. It is very mid balanced, surprisingly, but has that bass backing it up. We've got great reverb and acoustics and we don't have that much distortions. These are just fantastic sounding speakers. Looking at temperatures and fan noise, when I took my measurement, my ambient temperature room was 20 degrees Celsius. So just to give you a reference point, my hand was averaging around anywhere between 35 to about 36 degrees Celsius. And so I took my base measure when the computer was idle and the hottest area around the keyboard measured a maximum of 43 degrees Celsius. And as for the fan noise, it stayed pretty much dead silent at 35 decibels. And the average internal core temperature was 48 degrees Celsius. Then I put 20% load on the computer. That's pretty much average use. That's tasks like office productivity work, surfing the web, streaming videos. And the hottest air around the keyboard measured a maximum of 41 degrees celsius and as for the fan it did spin up a little but barely heardable and it measured in at 36 decibels and the average internal core temperature was 49 degrees celsius then i put 50 percent load on the computer and the hottest air around the keyboard measure a maximum of 45 degrees celsius and the fan did spin up a bit more and it measured in a maximum of 40 decibels and the average internal core temperature was 77 degrees celsius then i put 100 percent load on the computer and the hottest air around the keyboard measured a maximum of 52 degrees celsius and as for the fan it spun all the way up to a maximum of 51 decibels and the average internal core temperature was 89 degrees celsius also measured the bottom back cover while i had 100 percent load Load and the hottest air around the back cover measure a maximum of 50 degrees Celsius and of course it stayed at 51 decibels. We're going to see how the i7 13800H processor in the P1 Gen 6 behaves on full load. Let's just see how it goes. I'll just start the load off now and we are looking at 4.15 gigahertz, 4.2 gigahertz there and it is now going about four now slowly going down to about 
three and it's jumped myself back up to about 4.2 it's sitting there i can see here the fans now spinning up and we're looking at about 3.8 3.9 3.5 and we'll see how this is holding here with this definitely easily no problems at all with base clock speed at 2.5 it's way above that and we are looking pretty good here now i'm just going to switch this over to utilization to all the logical processes so you can actually see how that's running on all the processes but at the moment we're averaging on about 3.5 there and you can see that is now going to soon hit the first minute mark and we are looking at 3.5 gigahertz at the one minute mark Keyboard on the P1 Gen 6 is your typical ThinkPad keyboard. Now, for those that's familiar with the channel, know that I absolutely love ThinkPad keyboards. And the reason for it is it's got great tactile feel, got great key travel, and you've got nice recoil on each key with our large size keys and good spacing in between. And it's got a very smooth surface. It's kind of, the surface is very similar to the actual palm rest so you get that uniform feel to it and it's got a bit of a convex shape to each injury key which makes it really nice to sit your fingers and just type away i know a lot of programmers love typing on thinkpad keyboards there is one quirk to the thinkpad keyboards and that is the function keys on the very left hand side and the control keys the next one here now you can swap these around in bios and also in the lenovo software i'll put a link in the description below i have created a little tutorial on that but i've just got to update that i'll put another one out soon for it but you can swap these two around that's the a hard thing and also this is configured with backlit keys and it is a function spacebar and there's three settings off low and high and there are the three settings here now in the middle you'll see what i call the track point and it's great to see they're still included this is a very old nice little thing i also call this the g spot a little pun intended because next to the G button and it is a nice little tool for those that end up using it have a bit of wrist pain more than anything else and we've got the three buttons to support the track point here so left middle and right button here and then we've got the trackpad which is very nice because it keeps uniform feel as the palm rest just a little bit more silky or smooth and it is mechanical so it's hinged at the top and you can depress as the bottom and it is multi gesture support as well so it is a very nice feel to this keyboard and i have not had a problem registering even with wet fingers uh, moist fingers it is still registers very nicely it just glides beautifully for that trackpad as an add bonus those actually are interested about the thunderbolt if you can actually charge the p1 using the thunderbolt i'm afraid you won't be able to charge the thunderbolt with the required amount of power as it does require 230 watts but you can give it slow charge on one of these now do need a supported charger for it some will work some won't that's what i've found from this two thunderbolt four ports Here's the results of the benchmarks performed on the ThinkPad P1 Gen 6. Here's the results for Passmark, CityBench R23, CityBench 2024, 3D Mark, PC Mark, Crystal Disc Mark, Cross Mark, Geekbench 5, Geekbench 6, Geekbench ML, Procon Office, Procon Photo Edit, Procon Video Edit, Procon AI. Fugit Photoshop, Fugit Lightroom, Fugit Premiere Pro, Fugit DaVinci Resolve, Blender, Furmark, Luxmark, Octane Bench, Eugene Engine, and Spec U Press. Have a quick look in internals. We've got the 90 watt hour battery at the bottom here. We've got the battery connector right here if you need to disconnect the battery. We also got the CMOS battery, that's a battery CMOS battery connector is right here. Now we also have those two soul dim slots of for the memory. They are heat shield, so that's nice to see. And they can take up to 48 gigs on each. And then we've got the M.2 SSD, so that's 2280 format here. Now this does have the GeForce RTX 4060, so it's only got one M.2. Now if you've got the A1000 or the 
a 2000 graphics, then you actually have two slots of M.2, but anything else, it's only just one slot. And then we also have a twin fan system here, and again, this is a liquid metal, so you actually don't disassemble any part of this at all. The Lenovo ThinkPad P1 Gen 6 is one of those computers you can just pick up and know of its reliability. You got fantastic, stable, high performance coming out of this, and we've got a fantastic keyboard that I know I absolutely love typing on the ThinkPad keyboard. We've got a great trackpad with the track point or the G-spot I call it that is actually there. Great selection of ports, we've got a decent screen and a great webcam and we have fantastic sounding speakers. Absolutely great build material. This thing will last for very very long period of times and also many years to come. Absolutely fantastic. This thing is just one of those computers that you know you can pick up and just trust it just keeps going and going. What a beast this thing mobile workstation this is. Fantastic job on this Lenovo. And as always, I hope you find this video informative and enjoyed. If you did, please support my channel. Smash that like button for me. Share this video, it does help me out. And as always, imperfections in life makes it beautiful and interesting. And I'll see you next video.